This is lesson 38 in module 3. In this lesson, we'll be multiplying two digit by two digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Let's start with 42 times 22. As we've seen before, we can think of this as really two separate problems. The first one is 42 times 2. And the second one is 42 times 20. So we're multiplying the first factor by both of the units in the second factor. So for 42 times 2, we can use distributive property and we can think of this as 2 times 2 plus 40 times 2. So we've distributed the 2 over the units, the 1 units, which is 2, and the 10 units, which is 4. So 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to record that in our vertical writing of the number. 2 times 2 is 4, and then 40 times 2 is 800, I mean, 80, I'm sorry. So we'll put 80 here. So 42 times 2 is 84 as our first partial product. Then we're going to look at the second one as 42 times 20. And if 42 times 2 is 84, we know that 42 times 20 would be 840 as our second partial product. And then to get our total product, we're going to just add those together for a total product of 924. So here we're just thinking of this as two multiplication problems. First, 42 times 2, and then secondly, 42 times 20. And we're writing each of those partial products and then adding them to get the total product. Let's try another one. Let's look at 62 times 29. So again, we have really two problems here. We first have 9 times 62. So we have the ones in the second factor times the first factor. And we can use distributive property to say this is 9 times 2 ones plus 9 times 60 which gives us 18 plus 540. When we add those together, we get 558, which is our first partial product. And then for our second problem, we have 20 times 62. So 62 times 2 is 124, so 62 times 20 would be 1,240 as our second partial product. When we add those together, we get a total product of 1,798. Let's look at one more. 63 times 40 6. Now, we're going to think that the first thing we're doing is 6 times 63. So let's look at that as if it's one problem here. And we're going to multiply 3 times 6, which is 18. 6 times 6 is 36 plus 1 is 37. 
as our first partial product. For our second partial product, we're now going to multiply the four tens times 63. So we're doing 40 times 63. Now we know we're not going to have any ones because we're multiplying by four tens. So we know that this digit's always going to be zero. The ones digit is always going to be zero in the second partial product since we're multiplying by tens now. So we're going to multiply four tens times three ones. That would give us 12 tens. And then four tens times six tens would be 24 tens plus, uh, uh, plus one more would be 25. And when we add them together, we get a total product of 2,898. Let's use this with our problem set. So starting with number one, it says express 23 times 54 as two partial products using distributed property and then solve. So we're doing 23 times 54, so that would be 23 fifty-fourths. 20 fifty-fourths and then 3 fifty-fourths. So we're going to do 3 fifty-fourths, 3 fifty-fourths. So 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Gives us our first partial product. And then 20 fifty-fourths. We know we don't have any ones because we're multiplying tens. So two times four is eight and two times five is 10. And when we add these together, we get 1,000, I'm sorry, 1,242. All right, you stop the video and turn number two. Okay, so here we have 6 54ths and 40 54ths. So here we're doing 6 times 54 and 40 times 54. So in our vertical problem, we have 4 times 6 is 24. Then Five times six is thirty plus two is thirty two. And then for our second partial product, we have no ones because we're multiplying by tens. Four times four is sixteen. Five times two is twenty plus one is twenty one. And when we add them together, we get 2,484. Stop the video and try number three. So here we have five times 47 and then 50 times 47. So here we're doing five times 47. So five times seven is 35. Four tens times five ones is 20 plus three is 23 tens. Then our second multiplication is 50 times 47. So we don't have any ones, we're multiplying by tens. So five times seven is 35. And 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 is 23. And when we add them together, 
we get 2,585. Moving on to number four. Now we're taking away the area model, but you can still think about it. We're gonna look at the two partial products. The first thing we're multiplying is we have five times 58. The second one would be 40 times 58. So starting with the first one, we have eight times five is 40. Five times five is 25 plus four is 29. Then we go to our second product, partial product, we're multiplying by 10, so we don't have any ones here. Four tens times eight would be 32. Then five times four is 20 plus three is 23. And when we add them together, we get 2,610. Okay, stop the video and try number five. For number five, we have five ones times 82. And then we have 50 times 82. So in our vertical problem, five ones times two ones is 10 ones. Five ones times four tens would be 40 plus one is 41 tens. Then for our second partial product, we don't have any ones, we're multiplying by tens. Five tens times two ones would be 10 tens. Five tens times eight tens would be 40 tens plus one is 41. And when we add them together, we get 4,510. Pause the video and not try number six. Okay, now for this one, if it helps you to still write out the two partial products, you can. Otherwise, you can go directly into the standard algorithm. We start with the three in the ones place in the second factor. We multiply it times the one in the first factor. Three times three is nine. Then we multiply the three times five and get 15 tens. Then we move to the second partial pro factor. Second, second partial product, we have no ones. We're multiplying by six tens, so there's no ones. Six tens times three ones would be 18. Five times six would be 30, plus one would be 31. We add them together. We get 3,309. Try number seven. We have 84 times 73. Four times three is 12. Eight times three is 24 plus one is 25. Then for our second partial product, we don't have any ones. We multiply the seven tens times the four ones, we get 28. Then we multiply eight tens times seven tens, so there's 56 plus two is 58. Add them together, and we get 6,132. And that concludes Lesson 38.